tractor, your 1640, 2040, something like that. You've had great hydraulics. You go and start the tractor one day and you've got nothing, absolutely nothing. So what do we do? This tractor, if you follow the series, the tractor's been pulled apart. I don't know why, um, but I bought it in pieces, so I'm ready for a challenge. So down the side of the tractor, now, if we try and get things in perspective, there's your hydraulic lever. This is your right-hand mudguard as you sit on the seat. Come down under your lever. On this tractor, that's your PDO speed. Keep coming down. You'll have a foot plate comes through here. So under your foot plate on the right-hand side, you'll see this valve here. Now on the this valve here is only on the hydrostatic steering tractors. So if you haven't got the big solid black steering column, like we did a video on in the 2030, um, you won't have this. But all tractors will have this. Now this is your steering priority valve. So um, that lets pressure up into your steering when you need it. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about this. Now this valve here, it's our filter bypass valve. Now, oil down here, you have your suction screen. Um, you undo that. I haven't done that on this tractor yet. Um, looks like it hasn't been out, it might be blocked. But you undo this plug, pull the suction screen out, and get rid of all your oil. And if that gets blocked, oh, you also have your filter. I'll well, come back a bit your filter bowl here for your transmission. So just up the side from where your filter bowl is, just come up a little bit, you have this valve here. Now, an inch and a quarter AF spanner fits it. You'll need to drain some oil out of your tractor. So if we undo this valve, inside there, can you see that? Oh, barely. You can see a little valve with a it has a roll pin across it so you can hop in with some pointy pliers where are we with some pointy pliers and pull that valve out once you've got that valve out there's a couple of things to look at let's go over to the bench now you know where the valve is, we'll go over to the bench and we'll just run through how it works. Okay, what's all the fuss about this filter bypass valve? What's the go? Okay, let's have a look. This is a thumbnail dipped in tar drawing. Now, the oil from your sump of your tractor comes through your suction screen, it comes up to the tranny pump just screened only so it hasn't been filtered at this stage then the oil gets pumped in the transmission pump then it comes down past this filter bypass valve to your filter then from your filter it heads off and it goes up and it does your high low your PDO your PDO brake um, four-wheel drive that sort of thing then after they've used what they need of it any leftover oil heads off to your main pump up the front so when I was saying before you might be driving along thinking oh my tractor's going great then the next day you start up and you give her a hit up and bloody hydraulics work for a minute then don't or they don't work at all, or something like that. There can be a couple of causes, um, as in some of these pipes here can crack and things like that. But for the sake of taking an inch and a quarter spanner and screwing this one out, we can be sure that that's not the problem. Now, when you put the tractor away and it was hot, the oil was thin, it was probably getting drawn through this suction screen, up into your pump here, and even if your filter was partially blocked from brakes failing or 
something like that. Um, the oil may have still been thin enough in a hot state to go through your filter here. Um, when you start up the next day, the oil gets sucked through here, if it can, goes through your tranny pump, comes down here and sees, oh shit, the filter's blocked. So it pops this filter bypass valve open, so I can pop this bloke open, and it bleeds a little bit of oil off for lubrication, and if it's really blocked, it just dumps it to sump. So, so you can park up, everything will be roses, um, or you can just be driving along, and the filter will get blocked up enough that this will open up. So we'll just run through what's in that valve. For the sake of, and what my point is with all this, is for the sake of popping this out and having a look, um, it wasn't me, but I have seen a whole arse end rebuilt. And they put it together and it didn't work. And I went and had a look and popped this out, cleaned it, popped away it went. And they spent thousands on that job. So take note and have a look. It's well, it's well worth your trouble. All right, so this valve, the oil comes up on the end of it there. And... I'm hoping we haven't got too many shadows. And look, a quick test is pop it out, push it with a punch or a screwdriver or something like that, and see how that's moving nice and freely? No trouble at all. That's not the problem in this case. But just for the sake of demonstration, we'll pop this apart, just so you know what's in there and what to look for. Now, the thing I see here that I don't like is, can you see the split there in the roll pin is down towards the valve here? So that means the valve's pushing on a non-supported edge. I'm not keen on that. This has a bit of muck in there. And that's, that's watery oil. So it's well worth getting out of there. So I'll pop him in the vise. Now my vise, these are aluminium jaws that I made particularly for my vice. So what we can do, we can just take a roll pin punch, or a pin punch. Okay, what do we look at here? You can see where the valve's been touching the roll pin. These break. I have seen these break and one of those ports opens up a little bit. So you can pop that valve out. That's what it looks like. Now we open this here up. That's your spring. Make sure your spring's good. And also check that roll pin. Now that roll pin, it has the gap away from where the spring goes. That's what I like to see. These two lugs here, they locate. So when you come to putting it back and you have your pliers on the end of it to push him in, push him and turn it. And when you turn it, you'll just notice it sort of go... And it's, you might turn it and then I'll just feel it go... You'll just see it drop in that little bit and that's fine. Um, Without that sitting in that correct place, these ports aren't lined up properly. And whatever you do, don't try and do that inch and a quarter spanner up until you know that's in properly. Now the 30 series tractors, they had a different setup. And this valve was actually part of, um, it, it, it all come out together. Um, it wasn't in like a, a separate cartridge as such like this. Um, I have seen many of these with this broken off where people have been playing with it. So, Look, what we'll do, I'm going to go over and give this a nice wash. A um, little bit of 600, 1200 sandpaper and just make sure that's free. What we're looking for is when we pop that in there, that drops in and out under its own weight, just with a light film of oil. So it should just come in and out. So I'll go and wash this. I'll come back and we'll pop it together. Right, I've gone and cleaned this valve up 
And I used a little bit of 600 paper just to make sure there was no little bits and pieces in the road. And we'll just put a light smear of oil down. I'll put a piece of rag here just to keep everything clean. The valve here, we'll drop a smear of oil there. That's what we want to see. We don't want to see it stuck like that, but we do want to see it move under its own weight. So that just slides in. And you can see it just disappear under its own weight. So we know that's nice and free. So we'll pop him in here. I'm not sure which way to show you this best. We've got funny light today. Um, anyway, we'll try and work with what we have. A lot of shadows. So all we need to do really is pop the spring in. Drop a little bit of oil down the snout. Now look, it doesn't matter which way this goes. Um, you can see this one went this way. There's a shiny little tit there. Oh, I suppose we'll just put him back how it was. Now this here, you can see that's nice and free. So when that's tensioned up, we know that's going to work. That should be fine. Now we take a roll pin. I'll have to turn it sideways for this. We take a roll pin. Now I put the split side upwards when I do this. So I just get it started there. So now that plunge is pushing on the full back side. Might just bring him back through a little bit, just so it's sitting in evenly. There we go. And just a quick test. Beautiful. That's what you're looking to see. But look, that is the easiest and cheapest thing to look at on a utility series, like on a um, 30, 40, 50 series utility tractor. Um, utility tractor means often means the German-made ones. And um, yeah, look, that's it. Nice shiny little valve. By bloody hell, that can cause you some trouble. So now it's just a case of... Um, I won't put this back in yet. I'm actually going to flush the hole out and all that, make sure that's nice and clean in part of my cleaning procedure for this tractor, as we don't know the history. We know it's been apart for a long time. So, but anyway, we're gonna get a running tractor out of this. Follow along. 